All right, guys, I'm going to try to fund a little bit of Bitcoin into this little open dime here. I'm going to stick it into my computer. And when I do that, you should hear a little click. And pretty soon, you're going to notice right down there, open dime. There it is. And there's a readme file here. And in this readme file, it's going to tell you everything you need to know, which is that this thing has fresh, it's been fresh and unused. There's no private key yet. You're going to need some random numbers, so they tell you to put in some sort of file. It's not going to actually save a file because it's read only memory. So all you got to do is just dump a file there. If there's lots of red flashing lights, then something is bad. But this one is flashing green, so everything is good. That means everything is just dandy. This is what you see before you do you did anything with the open die. It's going to tell you that's new and unused. Follow these steps to pick your private key. You know, dump a file of at least 256k in there, and then it will do its magic. So now we're going to go ahead and go to my pictures, and they advise you to take an original picture, something that maybe you took or whatever that's not in the public domain. And so I'm going to take this nice picture of my wife and I eating. Huh. Let me take this one over here. Huh. Maybe her with the dog. Maybe both of us with the dog. All right. Too much sticking. I drop it in there. So I dropped in that file and it created a private key. Now, if you click on the private key, it's going to say, you know, see read me for details. In other words, you don't know what, whether there is. But what it's done now is that it's given you the address. And if you click on the address, there's the, the public address. Hey, send me money to this Bitcoin address, folks. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And this is the screen that shows you where you can send me Bitcoin. And I can check my balance. And this is one of the new things in version 4. Is now they've created a block stream. I think this is blockstream.io. If you want to go there. Yeah, that's right. It's going to load my address and say, yep, your address exists, and there's absolutely nothing in it. Uh, I can check my balance. These are all public domains. I can go to btc.com. And there's, once again, zero BTC sitting there. Damn it, because none of you guys are being generous with me, and none of you guys are sending me any money. And it's very disappointing. I've been waiting here for a few minutes already. So um, once you have that, what we're going to do is we're going to just... Uh, copy this Bitcoin address. Now, if you have a smartphone where you have your wallet, then you could just take a picture of this QR code. And from there, we'll send some money. And let's see how that works. I'm going to go a little bit offline here and check back with you when I'm done. All right. And now I just sent a little bit of money there. I can just click on check balance and it will check the balance for me and voila there's 0, 0.02 bitcoin which is about 20 bucks or something like that i put in here which is a rough actually i think it's 23 dollars it's a little bit more than the cost of the device itself and it is unconfirmed uh, but it, i just sent it out and i paid it like only five cents for transaction fees so it's going to take about a day to fully confirm because i'm in no hurry since it's my stick and I can disconnect it from the computer at this point, and everything is good. And you can also check third-party links. There it is. Total received. This much Bitcoin. And anybody who sticks in this device in there, I can look this up. We go back to the Open Dime itself. And anybody can say, okay, what is the address? I'm just going to copy this address. And search any transaction. And there's two of them with that address, and only one is Bitcoin, and that's mine. And there it is. So that's it. And it says unconfirmed, but that's just because it just happened moments ago. Pretty cool. Love it. And by the way, one more thing I want to add is that you can keep adding to this Thing. So it's like a piggy bank. So I just put in $23 next week or next month, as long as I, you know, whether I have the device or not, I can decide to send another $100 in there, put $100 in there. So now you have $123 worth of Bitcoin in there. So 
let's say you have a child and you can give the child one of these things for his birthday and say, you know, every time you work or do a good job or you get an A, I'm going to put another $20 in your little stick. So there you go, your BTC stick, cash right here, and you can keep funding it, keep funding it. And it's only until you decide to break it, break the piggy bank by popping out one little chip here with a pin. That's when you can finally actually withdraw and finally find out what is that private key? What is that secret message to get that Bitcoin? I hope that's helpful.